Emmanuel Macron appears to be bending EU rules and actively influencing Michel Barnier in order to suit France's national interests during the Brexit process. Trade talks between the UK and EU are due to resume later today in a final bid to agree a post-Brexit deal. The two sides were said to be close to reaching an agreement last week but the discussions appeared once again deadlocked after several EU member states raised serious doubts about the direction of talks. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier was forced to brief EU ambassadors and members of the European Parliament as diplomats were concerned that the French negotiator could be tempted to compromise too much to secure a deal. One EU diplomat said Mr. Barnier's briefing was mostly an exercise to calm nerves in Paris and elsewhere. The key sticking points in the talks remain in the areas of level playing field, conditions for business, fishing rights, championed by France, and how any trade deal might be implemented. According to senior political sources in France, because French President Emmanuel Macron is facing domestic threats to his re-election, he would rather see the talks flounder than agree to a bad deal that could tempt other EU states to leave the bloc. Europe's power to protect itself from major global rivals, pandemics, economic crises, migration and climate change will be a major electoral argument for Mr. Macron as he climbs up for his 2022 re-election bid, most likely against national rally leader Marine Le Pen, who he defeated in 2017. A source said, France's stance is to show that Brexit cannot be a success. From that point of view, the prospect of no deal is not necessarily a problem. The claims come as Mr. Macron's close aide Clement Bone recently warned that France will veto a bad post-Brexit trade deal. Mr. Bone said, I want to tell our fishermen, our producers, the citizens who are listening that we will not accept a deal with bad terms. If a good agreement cannot be reached, we will oppose it. Each country has a veto right. Paris' stance should not come as a surprise, though, as ever since he became president, Mr. Macron has actively tried to influence the Brexit process.